I, I can't even stand to think about the, the horrors that would come from that pipeline. The proposed Williams Pipeline would run just a few miles offshore from coastal communities. I live in the coastal community that would be very affected by this. My name is Joan Flynn and I'm a almost 50 year resident of the Rockaway Peninsula. We thought it would be a wonderful place to raise our children and for the most part it has been. Sandy will slam into New York by the end of the day. One of the hardest hit communities is far Rockaway, New York. There was two and a half feet of water through the entire first floor of our house. Things that I had treasured were gone. They floated away. There were cars askew on the street, just like somebody had picked it up and thrown it. This gas is going to cause more climate change, which will bring more hurricanes to this community that has already been hit by hurricanes. We don't need this, we don't want this, and we have to stop it. Yeah, stop the Williams Pipeline! There's two parties here that have the power to stop this pipeline. One is the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC. Under the Trump administration, they are a rubber stamp on this process. The other entity that has the power to stop this pipeline is New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo. Governor Cuomo recently announced a Green New Deal and that we're going to be lowering greenhouse gas emissions and that's absolutely impossible by building a new frac gas pipeline. That's spending a billion dollars going in the wrong direction. So if Governor Cuomo is a real climate leader, his first true test is to stop the Williams frac gas pipeline. During Governor Cuomo's campaign to be re-elected as governor, he actually came to Rockaway and promised us a clean energy future. We need to ask him if he's going to keep that promise. 